What is up guys, back into today with another reaction to Near Automata, this time of episode 21. Last week's episode was an absolute banger, uh, 9 segment at the end was really awesome, but Pascal was definitely the standout for me last week. He slash she was just fantastic, and uh, I think they're, they're controlling one of these giant saw things today, so absolutely can't wait to see that. Uh, do let me know what you guys think about this episode though down in the comment section. Leave a like on the video if you guys do enjoy it, and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date. And straight into it we get. Guys, <laughs> down. Let's go, Pascal. Oh fuck. <laughs> well, the, the thing is, as well, the other one we're fighting is actually a little bit injured right now. So hey, let's go. Headshot. Look at that. The voice acting right now is crazy. It's a little bit sad. I mean, it's not really because these guys, these are just like horrible, just killer robots. No personality or anything. But it's, it's always a little scary seeing like Pascal get angry because they're always so pacifist. And that non non fighting and so on, so it's it's a bit of a shame seeing that they have to fight back. But sometimes you have to fight back, so is what it is. I just hope we don't see any kind of fall off the deep end. Like oh, now we've got back into a little bit of violence. The nature of the the nice peaceful pacifist machines might return to that of like factory settings. But I mean, oh, most of them are dead now, so rest in peace. But um. Yeah, hopefully Pascal doesn't go that way. Again, I'm not expecting him slash her to. But it just would suck if that was the case. Awesome, though. <laughs> what a voice acting job Pascal's voice actor's doing right now. Fucking hell. Also, if any of you guys that have played the games, please let me know if there is going to be like uh, content for a season two. I imagine there will be. But uh, I don't know. Oh boy. Fucking Pascal, man. She in there. Definitely got to look up who voices Pascal after this, because Jesus. I mean, all the voice actors in the show are really good, to be fair. Nines, 2B, 1A, or 1B, I can't remember. Like the Adam and Eve's actors, I thought they were really good. But in general, the voice acting quality of the show is, is just like incredible because I mean, it's probably slightly easier for the androids, but I think especially the robots they've got to and maybe the effects people because they've got to make them sound like robots and like they're in a pile of metal and they, they do a really fucking good job doing that. And I think most of, if not all, I imagine the voice actors are taken over from the games. They use the same ones in both. From what I played, anyway, I did play with the... Uh... I'm not sure if there is a... Is there an English dub of Nier? I'm not sure. I played with the Japanese. Just because it felt familiar. From what I did play. <sighs> Things are really going to shit right now, aren't they? 
wonder what the kids are up to. The machine kids. Oh fuck. You see that? A little flash of red. Mm. Interesting that though. Maybe I did say a minute ago about the whole fact that uh, I was thinking it wouldn't really be too applicable to the ro the robot kids. Uh, not just because they're kids, but because um they're not really involved in the fighting, but I guess this does show like the after effects of war and such on kids, even if they're not the ones like killed, like losing their parents. In terms of these machine life force, we know they don't actually have parents, but in their roles that they played and such, and uh, losing everyone from like the village. And we saw there just that little toy being broke there. I think that might is that do you reckon that's like a motion? Like that's what I thought. Then I was like, oh, I'm scared because they might just go back to like factory settings. But maybe it's actually one deeper in terms of. Maybe this is the start of them harboring negative emotions. I'm not sure machine life forms are capable of emotions. Obviously, they're imitating humans and such right now. It's a possibility. That's the thing. I can't ever, I can't ever rule anything like that out because I'm gonna have played the game, so I don't really know. But um, it's interesting to think about. Maybe again, the negative emotions are very powerful. So maybe this is, uh, maybe it's actually more positive than than I initially think. I doubt it, <laughs> but it's a possibility. I think it might so sort of more be in line with, as I said, maybe the machines just going back to how they were before after all this shit. Oh, I was also thinking maybe that was sadness, even though it's the red eyes, which usually say like if you're a villain or not. Like a game, like a red dot, you always consider like a villain on like a map, for example. But uh, maybe it's actually sadness. That is little toy broke. Oh god. Goes down as well. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. <clears throat> I guess that was before. Okay. Damn. Holy crap. He knew what he was doing there as well, didn't he? Oh my god. Hey, <laughs> hey, <I hate> jackass. <laughs> okay. Oh, they're the, uh, the girls. And they're in last week's ending bit, weren't they? I'm hoping they're still doing the ending bits. Yeah, 
There was a bit of worry for me last week about them potentially stopping. Things are terrible right now. Fucking terrible. It does really feel like zombies, doesn't it? <laughs> and I guess they essentially are kind of zombies. Oh, shit. So I was going to say that a minute ago. I don't know why that came to my mind, but I, I, I just thought for a minute. I didn't say it because there's no evidence. Uh, there might have been a, maybe that's why I thought it. Maybe there is evidence, but I just didn't realize. Um, and maybe subconsciously. But I was, I was thinking, did the I reckon the virus is coming from the robots? I mean, that would make perfect sense because they are the weapons against humanity and these androids. So it makes sense that they also shelter a virus that would destroy them, even if they're no, no longer aggressive and they're pacifists. It would make sense that they could still harbor a virus to harm humans. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what brought that to my head, but. Maybe again, maybe there's like subconscious kind of like signs throughout the episodes leading up to this saying that. But yeah, it's not overly shocking for some reason. Love the uh, OST that's playing right now as well, by the way. And the first guy that did go down was the one to hand the little toy over to the guy. Maybe that was that was it. That's the thing. Even though that did cause this, it doesn't make that the wrong. Made her what she done the wrong decision. At helping the robots. Well, not very many left anyway. Yes, ま。だろ。はい。お前たちは国宮さんの箱を離脱して。え?あ、私たちの箱に残る。だんだ。お前たちは生き残りのアンドロイドを救う任務を果たした。けど、万が一お前たちの仲間らが誰が傷を癒す
I mean, you could probably just tell from that design that these guys are quite special, aren't they? Well, let's not count them all dead right off the bat. <laughs> I mean, this is obviously yeah, the odds are against them right here, but let's not let's not fully decide that they're dead just yet. Those guys. Let's hope not anyway. Oh, do you know what? I did really interestingly watch a massive old spider last night spin a spin a web. It was really interesting to watch it like line them all up and and do it all delicately. Oh fuck. Oh. F. Oh shit. Was... <laughs> Strangeness this is by the way. What's the question? What is something that everyone always encounters, but something you cannot witness for yourself? Interesting, yeah, death. Holy crap. Oh, <laughs> well, there might be a, f a few answers for that question, actually, but I think it's pretty evident what the answer was uh, the nines right here. That seems to be all is uh, all that's fooling him at the minute, of course, isn't it? Death and revenge. Where does this come from, though? <laughs> I, I I said oh shit because I didn't realize this was a robot. I thought it was that um, the Emil, that kind of horrible face thing. They just land on nines. Where'd this come from? God Nines. She said that. She said that. I don't. I don't think it was. Was it real? I don't know. She kind of said it to be fair already. Um. I kind of forget because we know he was hacking into something, but wasn't he getting like reverse hacked? Is this going on in his head? In his head? Or well, the thing he was hacking as well? I'm confused about that. <laughs> but that, that's just me having a bad memory from last week, though. To be honest with you guys, so apologies. And when I say this, like, is it real? I mean, like, yeah, it's 
struggle to actually convey what I'm trying to say when I say that. Obviously, we didn't see her like actually say that. But I don't know, something about me almost feels like that was real. It's one of those what, what if kind of things that you actually take as like canon. <laughs> Uh, looks like I was wrong about this. What the fuck? Oh god. What the fuck is that? What is this stuff? Is that like, what is that? To be honest with you, I didn't, I didn't know these, one, I didn't know these machines had teeth, to be honest with you. Look at this. Ugh. <laughs> I didn't know that was like under there. And two, yeah, what is this liquid? These stuff, it looks like kind of rust, but obviously I don't think machines rust this quickly. Yeah, I know. I never knew that these machines had like these teeth bits like this. Actually, have we seen them like that? Uh, that's what I'm maybe trying to say here. I've never seen these machines look so disturbed as they uh, disturbing as they do right now. Almost again, like Silent Hill type, just disturbing our shit right here. <laughs> Horrible to look at, but also weirdly fascinating to look at for me anyway. I know that's probably not the uh, <laughs> not the usual. Interesting. I mean, we saw that flash of red from his eyes. I, I said that earlier on in the episode, but fucking hell, I didn't think it turned to cannibalizing all his little brothers and sisters. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. You can't blame yourself. Ah, oh, so that's like the virus. Oh no. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why, God? Why have you. Oh, my God. If it, <laughs> if it could, like, what the fuck has this season been? It couldn't get any worse. They have all the other androids out there. Pascal, the kids from the village, 
now dead. Well, is, they want to kill anyone else? They want to kill anyone else in this series? <laughs> Fucking hell, take everyone we, we come to love from the show and you kill them. Bloody hell. They talk about Jujutsu Kaisen and stuff like this. I think it is, uh, I mean, it's it's almost like slightly predictable in Jujutsu Kaisen in a sense of like, you know, important side characters are dying. But here, just like, it all just came so quickly <laughs> for all these characters. It really was just massively unexpected this season, for me anyway. Um, and it makes it a lot more shocking, to be honest with you. What oh, damn, Pascal. Oh, kind of a, you do have that feeling as well. It's just like, what has Pascal got when all these kids are now gone as well? It's just like everything he slash she worked for is just wiped out. And the, I don't think it was her fault or his fault for teaching them fear. I think that was a much needed thing to have. But what can you do? Oh no, jackass. And after Pascal been killing it as well. Killing it these last couple of episodes. So again, I'm so sorry guys, <sighs> again this is just my bad memory, but last week w w I think we saw Nines hacking something, I think he's out of it now like, by the looks of things, this actually is happening and that actually was her recording that message in her um, flight unit thing, so that was real, sorry guys, I'm not going to bother with the timer. But again sorry about it, it's just down to my poor memory. So yeah, this is sorry. It was a bit. It was a bit weird because the units, the other two units, he hacked. Till now, it was like we, we were like hacked into them, and then we like killed the thing, and then we came out, and it was like it, it wasn't like an old reality, but it was like in the hacking state. But this is just like this is actually like physically all here and such right now, isn't it? I think if if I'm wrong, please let me know in the comment section. Patronage. So is that the main a special prize? Oh shit. Well we do see nines in her fight in the opening, don't we? So I'm expecting to see that of course this season. Is this what's replacing the end segment? Oh, here we go again. Fucking hell, here we go again. I'm not on. Uh, I'm not on the site I was on last week, so I can actually pause through this now. Infiltrated subunit named Meatbox in the beach zone destroyed machine life forms in large quantities. A subunit named Soulbox in the desert zone determ determined the tower is a launch device. Uh, but what I said earlier about the, it does almost kind of feel, maybe this is like the final fight in the game or something, I don't know, maybe it does actually kind of feel like things are coming to a close here perhaps again. With so many characters dying and stuff, it very much feels like that case, but yeah, who knows. And there is a, a sequel called Near Replicant, I think, isn't there? I'm not, I'm not sure if it's a sequel or like a prequel or something i'm not sure i haven't looked into it again i kind of feel like i don't really want to play the games and such I, I as much as it probably sounds weird to you guys that I played the games i I don't want to spoil the anime <laughs> i've been loving this anime so much i don't really want to spoil it by playing the games but 
the games are considered a masterpiece. I wouldn't be spoiling per se, would it? It would just, it, yeah, it'd just be. Yeah, I don't know. I really love the anime, so I'll probably watch the anime and then play the games. Is uh, is probably what I'm going to do. Um, it's seeking details of the third subunit named Godbox. They possess 2B's flight assistance unit, which had a message from 2B to 9 a So yeah, that was a real message. She did finally say is say nines. Like actually say it. She did kind of say it already. But she actually said it here. Yeah. So yeah, apologies, I went on that conversation of like being confused if it was like real or not earlier. <laughs> and that was again just me thinking that we we're in like a hacked thing. So yeah, apologies about that. And uh and probably also to do with the little clown robot as well. That was that felt like it was like right out of a dream or something. This has caused Nine's mental state to further decline. What are the three passcodes? My sin, your curse, memory of light. So my sin, which is probably that of creating the virus. Your curse is is to be cursed to be without not without to be. I imagine. The memory of light is obviously what we just saw. Interesting. But maybe that's actually like, maybe it's actually talking about nine sin. Curse is the virus. I don't know, you, can maybe, you could look at this a couple ways perhaps. Consulting humanity database and nine's personal behavior and impulse records for relevance between them. That's what it's going to tell us, okay. However, analysis is extremely difficult. What is the situation on your end? Well, yeah, as, as I said, I feel like you could maybe take a few things out of that and it's quite subjective perhaps. Haskell village was assaulted by hostile machine life forms and has been annihilated. Surviving children evacuated to the resistance camp, but there was a unit contaminated by a virus. Camp suffered serious infection and was annihilated. Um, so yeah, it does look like this is a instead of that usual kind of fun thing we have at the end of the episodes, which is a bit of a shame. It is literally just a summary, but um, as with what I mentioned a minute ago, maybe I could actually use a, a summary on the on the NIAS section. But it's not that big a deal as I was just confused as to whether he was hacking in something or it was like actually happening. So, um, yeah, this is uh, not a fantastic replacement for that, in my opinion. I, I really like those end segments. Ending condensed conversion mode understood. Farming insurance safety. Farming is the best farm to be death has been declining. Affirmative is proposed. Okay. Yeah, no uh no ending bit. Which is a shame. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll listen to this while I'm editing my video. Um yeah, really good uh really good episode again today. Uh a lot. <laughs> a lot happened, yeah again, fucking out. Uh everybody from the village, except for I can I think it's one A, one B, two A, two B. Yeah. At this point, who knows? Um, I think I can just get it up here in the credits, right? 82. There we go. 82. Um, yeah, everyone in the village dead except for 82, which really sucks ass. You guys know how much I loved, I absolutely loved all the machines in that village. All of them. I loved all their quirky bits of personality and behaviors. The kids were especially really cute again at the end of the day when they were just like robots but like they were more than that as well i don't know I, I, there was a connection there <laughs> as you can tell it's weird to say but it just, it, it just was um and pascal as well especially being a lovely kind person uh well machine but lovely kind machine that he or she was it's, yeah that was awful i would see he slash she died at the hands yeah <sighs> awful um <laughs> all the load of androids die there's hardly any android there really is hardly any androids left now uh the two redhead girls who again i think their designs very much speak for it themselves that so they're going to be very important characters going forward um, i think they're like medics of sorts or something of that nature i think so um hopefully they can meet up with nines or a2 
and kind of journey on with them. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing more of them. I think they are some of the kind of fan favorite side characters as well from this uh, game slash show. So um, yeah, looking forward to seeing what they get up to. But yeah, just a really good but quite depressing episode <laughs> as uh, as the season has been quite a lot. Uh, some hype action at the start. It was really uh, really cool, really bright start, and then um, yeah, just death after death after after death after sad message from 2b to 9s which was a really beautiful moment i did love that a lot but um yeah thank you guys for watching uh do let me know you guys thought about this episode in the comment section another absolute banger leave a like on the video if you guys did like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date um again uh, i think this might be up there anime of the year honestly so far so uh can't wait for next week i'll see you guys then